you guys want a really fun and cheap way to get yourself some FIFA coins, then check out FIFA Jackpot in the description down below. What you can do is you can open these crazy packs, get some crazy players, and get some crazy coins. If you want to do so, remember to use discount code KURT5 for 5% off. Boom! If you guys are looking to pick yourself up some fast, cheap, and reliable FIFA coins, I've found the cheapest place around at the moment it is Goldar.com. If you use discount code KURT5, you get yourself a percentage off, and they're by far the best site, so check them out in the link down below. What's up, guys? Curtis here, and welcome to a brand new FIFA 16 confirmed transfers video. Today, we have redone the whole template for this transfer stuff. I thought I would update it to fit in with all the FIFA 16 stuff that's coming out. This will be part of two videos I upload today, hopefully, trying to keep regular uploads going, guys, throughout the summer. If you could smash that like button, that'd be absolutely amazing. It takes quite a long time to put these together, especially with the renovated thing. So if you could smash a thousand likes, that'd be great. Anyway, first up is Amavi. This guy is an interesting little player. He's done fantastically in France. And I think Villa have done a great job to get him for 9.5 million pounds. I'm almost positive he'll be upgraded from 74 to a gold next year. But in my opinion, a top, top signing for Villa and a top, top signing for Ultimate Team will be very, run to, very fun to use Amavi in the Prem. Next up, we have Patrick Bamford. This guy is going on loan to Crystal Palace. He had his loan, obviously, at Borough last season. Had a very, very good year. But Borough have already chosen to take Callas from Chelsea on loan. And, of course, with the new, like, the rules, you can only have one Premier League. So, say Chelsea, they can only loan one player to Borough now that Borough are now in the Prem. Whereas, when they're in the Championship, they can loan more. Should be good for them, though. Next up is Fabian Delph. It amazes me that Delph has gone for 8 million when you'll see another signing shortly that's also gone to City for 8 million. Delph's a good player, but a massive snake, as we've seen from this. Uh, this week, so very, very interesting. But eight million pounds for Delph is a very interesting one. And I think he could be good for City if he can actually get in the squad. However, he may end up being just another Rodwell that never gets in. Next up is Felipe Luiz. He's gone back to Atletico Madrid from Chelsea. He's going on a, I think it's a two-year loan or sort of one-year loan or something like that with a chance to buy at the end of it, possibly. Obviously, he's not really settled in too well at Chelsea. Aspilicueta has that left-back spot on lock and Ivanovic won't be going anywhere from right-back. So, Felipe Luiz seems to be uh, going back to Atletico Madrid for now. Next up, we have Mariano. This guy is a very fun player to use not on the team. He's been used for by me for years and years. He used to have a non-rare gold. He was at Bordeaux, but of course, he's gone to Sevilla now for an undisclosed fee. He said he wanted to be like Dani Alves because of course Dani Alves went from Sevilla to Barcelona. Had a very similar attacking Brazilian right back. It's going to be very fun for Ultimate Team to have him in the BBVA as a silver. Next up, we have Milano. This guy had a crazy card in Ultimate Team and in form. I think it was a striker, but he's moved to the MLS now. He's going to be playing for Portland Timbers, and I don't think he's a designated player, so that's a great signing for Portland Timbers if he's not. But nonetheless, 90 pace. He's a very fun player to use in Ultimate Team, and adds to many, many pacey players that are in the MLS to use on FIFA. Next up, we have Alexandra Mitrovic. This guy has gone from uh, it's, on, it's Anderlecht. I'm pretty sure it's Anderlecht. He's gone from Anderlecht to Newcastle. A Serbian player that, in my opinion, is a great signing. He's a proper goal scorer, and it's just what Newcastle need. £13 million. Very, very top signing. This guy's going to bang a lot of goals in this season. I might even sneak him into my fantasy footy team, because Newcastle do kind of make good strikers score. It's weird. Next up is Patrick Roberts. This guy is going for the same fee to City as Fabian Delph. He's a Fulham youngster. I mean, he's barely played professional time and he's gone for the same price as England international Fabian Delph. It's a very odd one. He's a great, great potential and he could be amazing in years to come, but he could also not. Next up is Matthew Ryan. This guy is going to Spain. A very cool little signing. He played for uh, Bruges in Belgium. He, of course, he played for that. Uh, played in Australia before that. But he got a team of the season this year. He had a record like seven clean sheets in the Europa League this season. The most any goal he's got this year, which is a pretty cool little thing to do for a club like Bruges. Undisclosed fee to Spain, though. A good little signing, nonetheless. Next up, we have Yaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to do it. But we have Yaya Sanogo. He's gone to Ajax on a loan. I think that's a good signing for him. He needs to get out there and he needs to be getting game time. I hope, for his sake, Ajax do actually play him. He does have potential to be a good player. He was amazing in France. And I, I just want him to get game time. I want him to be starting games. And hopefully, he can do it over in Holland. Next up, we have Stefan Savage. This guy's been to a few clubs as of late. Of course, he was at Fiorentina last season. But he's gone for an undisclosed fee to Atletico Madrid. He's a player that always has been on the verge of like greatness. Everyone says all his potential he has. Hopefully now at Atletico Madrid, he might actually be able to realise that potential and, uh, and do what he obviously wants to do and become a regular player for Atleti. Next up, we have Stambouli. This guy's going from Tottenham to PSG. A bit of an odd signing because he hasn't really featured for uh, Tottenham. 
Signing from Montpellier last season, going back to France now, I guess he's more suited to the French league. Going to be very interesting to see how he gets on over there. Six million pounds Spurs have got out of him. They've got a bit of money now to actually spend this window too, so it's going to be interesting to see how they do it. Last but most certainly not least, we have Teofilio Gutierrez. This guy is becoming very quickly a Colombian national side starting striker. He gets in a lot of the games and he's moved to Sporting Lisbon. A great signing for an undisclosed fee. I think he's going to be one of the very, very top Colombian strikers, so I think they've done well to get him in as he's on the rise but that boys is the end of this episode like i said there should be two uploads today smash that like button if you did enjoy it if we could hit 1000 likes that'd be absolutely amazing remember to comment down below who you think will be the best summer transfer have a fantastic day guys and i'll see you all next time Bye bye